Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the huge G-force a shuttercock has to face. Badminton is known to be the fastest sport in the world with a smash speed well above 500 km per hour. But in this sport, acceleration and deceleration are also particularly impressive. In this super slow motion video, you can see the huge deformation of the shuttlecock during impact with racket. For a drive shot, the shuttlecock faces a linear acceleration as the speed is changing from left to right. The change of speed during impact with racket is extremely fast and it occurs here within 1.1 milliseconds. Here the initial speed is about 40 km per hour and the final speed is about 160 km per hour. So the speed variation is on the order of 200 km per hour which occurs within 1.1 milliseconds and it corresponds to a huge acceleration of 5000 g. The weight of an object is a product of its mass m and the acceleration of gravity g. The mass of a badminton shuttlecock is 5 grams. The acceleration of gravity accelerates equally different objects of different masses, such as a ball or a shuttlecock. The objects on this table are fixed because their weight in red is compensated by the reaction of the table in yellow. However, the objects may deform under their own weights, as it is the case of this deflated ball. During impact, and because of the huge acceleration, the weight of the shuttlecock is multiplied by 5000, and it will deform under its own weight. In other words, during impact with racket, this 5 gram shuttlecock weighs as much as this 25 kilogram suitcase. Because of the huge deceleration during impact with racket, the weight of each feather corresponds transiently to 250 grams, which corresponds for 16 feathers to a load of 4 kilograms. It is therefore the huge acceleration which is responsible for the deformation of the shadow cock and its huge transient weight is bending the strength of the racket. When an object is deformed by stress, it returns to its original shape when the stress is released. However, in the case of the shuttlecock, the recovery towards the initial state is ultra fast. Super slow motion videos allows for watching the breathing of the shuttlecock as it recovers its initial shape. The deformation of the shuttlecock acts as a shock absorber dissipating part of the impact energy and preventing the shuttlecock from breaking. The shuttlecock undergoes an even more violent acceleration during smashes when it is struck from the side and crushed under its transitory weight. The shuttlecock also faces large angular acceleration, especially during slice shots which induces high spinning rate. We can see that the shuttlecock expands as it spins very fast after the slice shot. An object falls due to its weight, but a centrifugal force can largely overcome this weight. The centrifugal force depends on the mass M of the object and the centrifugal acceleration AC, which scales as the radius of the circular trajectory and the square of the spinning rate omega. In such trail ride, you can experience acceleration up to 5G. For the feathers, a spinning rate of 125 rotations per second corresponds to a centrifugal acceleration of 2000 G, 
and 8000 G for 250 rotations per second. Here we can see that the diameter of the shuttlecock corresponds to 6.7 cm at rest and it expands above 8 cm under high spinning rate. Here again, the deformation due to angular acceleration is transient and the shuttlecock recovers rapidly its original shape. It is therefore a real challenge for equipment manufacturer to offer shuttlecock capable of withstanding such huge acceleration and stress. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you again for another video about the physics of badminton.